We started two weeks ago, the Torah from Rav Nosson, Birchus Hareach and Birchus Haidah Dalad, were in Ois Aleph, maybe 20 lines, something like that. That's where we're up to, you'll see. Remember, it's hard to go over. This is, this is a Torah, based on the Torah from Rabbi Nachman, which is Tinyon Ches, Tiku Techacha, which is one of the most difficult complicated Torah in all of the Kutam Aran, and it's the last Torah that the Rebbe said. So, as I said last time, it has in it, like it's Savar, Rebbe Nachman, the Chassidim saw it as the last, as the last Savar that Rebbe Nachman wanted to give over to the Chassidim, that will hold us, all of us, until Mashiach comes. But we can't learn the entire Torah, just there is what we need to learn this piece from Abnazan right now. Everybody should try to learn the Torah inside. But you remember that Rabbi Nachman in this Torah introduces us to a, a new type of a Jew. I'm just reviewing for a second. A new type of a Jew who he calls Baal Koyach Godl. A Baal Koyach Godl. Al Koyach Godel, we don't know exactly this person. It's clear that this is another name that Rabbi Nachman is using for Tzaddik. He has throughout look at around different ways of referring to the Tzaddik. Al Koyach Godel is the last thing Rabbi Nachman says. The Tzaddik is a Al Koyach Godel who has the ability, as you remember, to cause the Sitrach or the other side to choke on the tefillahs that he has taken away from Jews that haven't succeeded in getting past the border of the Sitrachva, that somehow the Balkar God has the ability to cause the Sitrachva to regurgitate, to throw up, and to regurgitate not only those tefillahs, but all the Kedusha that somehow has been trapped, taken by the other side of the Sitrachva. And as a result of this regurgitation, as a result of the Sitra Achra choking on the, choking by the Beis Hablia through the, through the Koach of the Baal Koach Gol, of the Tzaddik. So there's Nevuach flows into the world, Emuna comes into the world, Geirim, people are Magaya, Baal Yitzhuva, because there is, there's a tremendous treasure of Kedusha that the Sitra Achra has taken tefillahs that Jews didn't bring to a high place, a muna that was stunted, kachas of Jews that never made it, and that somehow through the Baal Kach HaGadol, everything is released, and, and suddenly Geirim and Baal Yitzhuv and so on. Rabbi Nosson takes this to the next level, Rabbi Nosson explains that in truth, each and every Jew is a Balkar God. Not just the Tzaddik. The Tzaddik, of course, is the Balkar God Haklali. But each and every Jew is a Balkar God. We just don't realize or we don't believe the Kaychas that we have. The Kaychas that we have. And this is what we were up to last time. So, Rabbi Nassim was just talking about how we see in every generation that there are people who are so far, far, far away from Yiddishkeit and they became Balichuva. Let's just review because the, the words are so unbelievably sweet. So we're in Ois Aleph. I don't know in your edition how many lines now. We're, we saw this sentence. Just, just, I just want to repeat it because it's so beautiful. Rabbi Nelson says, he is after bringing how there are many people, and we know throughout the generations that fell into the hands of the Sitra Achra. In Ois Aleph, like, like 15, 20 lines. So how, how is it possible that 
people who are so far removed from Yiddishkeit that they're able to turn their lives around and to do tshuva. Remember, this is what Rabbi Nachman wanted to leave the world with. Do you have the place? You able to find it? Good. And every Jew there's a neshami yikar. Every Jew is a bal koach, not just a tzad. And, 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 and that means that each Jew has koach god, a tremendous koach. Lamad keneged a yetzahar, to stand up against the yetzahar, the chelo yisav. Ki im lo haya lo koach, ki im lo haya koach, bodom lamad keneged a yetzahar, lo haya kadosh baruch hu noisel a yetzahar bekezer. If we didn't have the koach to resist, the Yetzirah, Hashem wouldn't give us such a Yetzirah. So when people say that there was never such a Yetzirah like there was in Tav Shanayin Zayin. So if Rabbi Nos knew about the internet, so he, he would have had to revise the whole Sefer or something. <laughs> if he knew about the internet. He didn't know. So he was talking about little Yetzirah. Now we have a big Yetzirah. Whenever there's a Yetzirah, whatever that Yetzirah is in that generation, whatever the Yetzirah is in that generation, two things. The generation feels that it's impossible to overcome. It's impossible to overcome. When it was the Haskalah in Europe, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Jews went off, went away from Yiddishkeit. Hundreds of thousands, if not more. And the feeling was that there's no way that we could fight against this Yetzar of the, of the Haskalah. No way to fight against it. And it's like that in every generation. The Yetzirah now is mislavish in this Indian more than other things in the past. And the feeling is that this is a new kind of Yetzirah. And that's, I hate when there's all this kind of talk that comes out from the, from the, the, the and, and it's such discouraging, there's such discouraging dibur that now this Yetzirah, the, there's nothing that you could do about this Yetzirah. This Yetzirah is impossible to fight against. If it would be impossible to fight against, then the Rosh wouldn't give such Yetzirah. So the same way that they felt that way in the past, that the Yetzirah of that time was something which was too strong. So the feeling is in every generation that this Yetzirah is too strong. And because Baruch gives each generation the Kaychus that it needs to contend with that Yetzirah. And we were given the Kaychus. It's true that an earlier generation might not have been able to contend with what, we, what we're dealing with. But they weren't given the kaychus that we're given in this generation to deal with this particular Yetzirah. Ki ein HaKadosh Baruch Hu Bavit Shunya in B'yayisav Ochum HaYishom Rabbeinu Hashem doesn't have unrealistic expectations or tainas. Ochum HaYishom Rabbeinu Zechon Levracha Shein mi shiyeh loy minias shleyuch alamad behem Rabbi Nachman said Ein mi shiyeh loy minias there's no such thing that a person is contending with maniyas, with things that are holding him back, things that are in his way, that he can't handle. There's no such thing. It says in the beginning of the Torah, it's hard, but a Jew has the ability to, to rule over, to control. In Tirsa Tisgabra love, Rashi says, if you want, you can be strong. If you want, you could overcome the Yetzar. Al Kain Srikhana Daslaham therefore a Jew must know and must believe. Shibavada call echad vechad me Israel, that certainly each and every Jew, I feel a poch shibabhusim. So look where Rabbi Nasan takes this from the Tzadik the Balkal Gadol. And all that, Rabbi Nosson explains, every single Jew, even the, the lowest Jew, who like we see some of these that, that were mentioned before, Rabbi Lozhe ben Durdaya, Rabbi Nosson Tzutzisa, and the Gemara people that were so far, they were involved in all kinds of znus, the lowest, most disgusting things, and they did tshuva. 
Because the truth is that every Jew, even the Pachas of Chusim, who Baal Kar got a Lamar, can I get a Yetzah Harishalom? Can I get a Yetzah Harishalom? A Chazal say, Hakoyvesh es Yitzro. Everybody has his own Indian. I might not, you know, when one person when a person has a Yetzar, the other person who doesn't have a Yetzar looks like this one, like he's a Meshugana, or like he's a weak person. What's the matter with you? But he has his Yetzar, because a Giber is somebody who's Kavish es Yitzro. It means that Hashem Zohar gave each person the Korach that he needs to be Kavish his Yetzar. But other people, that's their own thing. But your Yetzar, whatever you're going through, you're a Baal Kaya Godel to handle. A hundred percent. And therefore, the main reason that a person gets ensnared, caught in sins and taivas, he rak machmustus. It's only because of the stus, the foolishness. That he doesn't know that he's a Balkar God. So what happens is that the whole society says that you don't have the ability, that a person cannot overcome this taiva. That's what they say in the Velt, that there's a certain taiva and a person doesn't have the character. But this taiva you can't overcome. And, and then everybody believes this stus that it's not possible to overcome this time. Which could very well be true when we're talking about Goyim, that they can't overcome a certain time. But it's a shtus. It's a shtus. She'en yedeh mikorichai. Kemvu b'divar ha'ben zechon levracha, b'ni'ima sacharuzim shloi, ha'netfosim metchila seifel kutim ra'an v'zal ha'shalom, where Rabbi Nachman says there in the in the piyot at the beginning, chazik v'nez chazik, chazik v'nez chazik. We have to strengthen ourselves. Valtia kapil hagodol v'chagomol. Don't be like that, like a like a big, uh, a, a, a big elephant or a camel. In other words, these are powerful, huge animals, but they have a certain meekness to them that they don't even know their own strength. They don't know their own strength. You know, you see sometimes they had you would see in a circus, and you have this guy he's giving a, a little patch, and the elephant stands up, and the elephant does all kinds of tricks, right? So the, uh, well, he could go with one knock of his trunk. Forget about sitting on the guy. With one knock, and the guys, the guys throw him across the whole circus. The sad thing about the elephant is, ain't a makir as koychay, any a day as koychay, that because he's so stupid, that the that they could make a they could train him in such a way, that he, that he stands there working for this guy. And the guy's a nobody. It happened a couple times in history. Where all of a sudden, the elephant said. Like, why do I have to put up with this anymore? <laughs> there was some kind of, uh, you know, an Eluisha elephant that said, I'm not doing this. Was he standing? I have to stand on my leg for this guy? And, I, and then he could take this, the elephant could take down the whole, the whole audience. But he's not Maki Bekoichai. He doesn't know the strength that he has. So Ibn Achim, it says in the, in the, in the period at the beginning of the Lukut Imran, Chazak bin Chazak. Don't be like an elephant. That, that's, that's a shaita that doesn't know its strength. And all of these, all of these pessimistic diburim just make a person feel weaker and weaker and weaker. And then they get together and they make conventions to tell everybody who comes to the convention, you can't possibly overcome this Yetzirah. It's a special convention which is being convened to tell all of you, you can't possibly overcome this. It's almost depressing. That the Ike Taiva of Niv, of things in Znus and Niv, Shiva Klal Kola Chatoim Rachmar Aleslan, which includes in it all of the all Chatoim, all sins that come especially in the last generation, adultery, Vachulu, all of these things. 
Nimshach Ra Mimoich in the Katnas. Niyuf, which is the which is the most difficult thing to overcome. Znus and Niyuf and Preetzis and so on, all of these things. Nimshach Ra Mimoich in the Katnas. It all comes this feeling that we can't possibly we can't possibly win in this Mulchama. It comes from Moichen the Katnas, from a small way of looking at ourselves. Kiabal Dover, Ms. Gabrilov. The Baldover, the other side, defeats the person. That's when the Baldover wins, when he brings a person to Moichen the Katnas, to this certainty that I can't possibly, I can't possibly contend with this. That his mind and his understanding become small and weak. Till he doesn't know his own koyach. And it seems to him, I cannot deal with this taiva. I cannot fight against this taiva. Because gvura, the ikka gvura is in the heart. When him thus has the heart, we'll see. He says in a minute. It means as it as it comes from the mind, into the heart to, to when the mind fills the heart <coughs> with courage and with strength and with certainty. The pnimius alayv. K'mayshe kosev rabbeinu shachal levrachim akom acher, or misha libay chazak, a person whose heart is strong, yuchal lezgaba bekoychay, can eged kol hatayvus shabayl. Is able to be mezgaber, can I get call hat taivus shabayim? It's all of the taivus in the world. Ba'afilu can I get taivus niyuf? Even against that, even against that taiva, the inin of Yosef at Sadik. K'may shereinu kamet sadikim ukshayim shomdu benisayin rak ikin the filas kol anayflan la taivus rose or rak machmas bechinas. Moichin de Katnas. Moichin de Now he, the Nasa explains what, what's Moichin de Katnas. Moichin de Gadlas is when a person in his mind understands and believes in the strength that he has. That's Moichin de Gadlas. Moichin de Katnas is the opposite of that. When the mind shrinks. Because it's only through that conviction and gvura of the mind, together with the heart, is a person able to overcome the Yetzar, especially for Niv. So Moichin de Katnis is Niktan Moicha Ad She'en Yedemikach. That the mind shrinks. It has nothing to do with intelligence. But it's En Yedemikach. He doesn't think that he's a Balkoyev. Ki ikka koyev lai de chokmish b'moach. The ikka koyev is through the chokmish b'moach. Ki chokm hi oyesi is koach ma. Chokm is the letters koach ma. The koach of memhe. U memhe be gematria odom. Sheikha Koach Adam Hu Achachma. Koach Ma, Ma is Adam, because Ikha Koach Adam Hu Achachma is your attitude, how you think. That's the Ikha Koach that a person has. How do you think? What's your attitude? Do you believe that you can deal with this? Kamasha Kosov, Ha Chachma Toz Lachacham. Chochmah gives more strength to the wise person than ten rulers of the city. Which is the beginning of Shulchan Aruch. The Chazal say in, 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 in Pekka office that a person should be, should be strong and swift. Like a leopard. To be able to rise against and to overcome all taifas, vapitoim, and all manners of seduction. Hurach ayidei chokhmah amitiyas, shei bechines moichin da garlis. 
Chochma Amitis, which is Moichin the Godless. Ka Moichin Heim Chinas Mechitzes Prusais, Kenegit Taivis Niv, Kemavur Batar Analik, Rabbi Nachman says that it's only with strong Moichin can a person create a barrier that protects him from falling into Taivis and Niv. Haklau. It's not enough to believe in Hashem. A person has to believe Ma'oid. Lahamin Ma'oid Bekoichai. Vieda Bemuna Shloima. Shabavada Yesh Bekoach Sichlo. Umoichai Lamad Kenegit Taivis Niv. So Tani talks about this in the way of Chabad in Perakut Beis. That the Moach is Sholit Al Halev. And that Koach of the, of the mind to be in control of oneself. The ik of the Yitzhahara is the Yitzhahara of, of Niyuf, of Pagam Habris. Because the Moach and the Seichel is the Nisham. It's manifested, it's a manifestation of the Nisham. The neshama of God that's inside each of your own of us, the neshama gives us that koach of chokhmah, of bina. The of God is the neshama of the And the shel ish ha Yisraeli, and the neshama of a Jew, even the lowest Jew, bevadai, Without any exception, that the that the neshama of a Jew has the strength to stand up to the entire world and all of the tivus of this world. The truth is that that's very clear when Hashem Hashem gave us the Torah in this parsha. When it says "Vatem Tili" as a hagdama to to matan Torah in the parsha. Hashem says, "Vatem tiyuli mamleches kahanim v'goy kodesh." Mamleches kahanim. Rashi says, "Kahanim sarim." Here, kahanim does not mean like regular, like a kohen, a priest. Kahanim. Rashi says, "Sarim" means princes. Mamleches kahanim means that Am Yisrael is a kingdom of great, royal, and noble people, powerful people. Sarim. Sorrow, leaders, powerful people. I'm sure some of you, or maybe I hope all of you, learned the Kuzvi at some point. And you might remember that the, the Kuzvi, the king, he asked the, the Chavir, the Chacham, Rabbi Dalevi, he asked, What's a Chasid? What's a Chasid? What is a chaz? And the chaver began to explain by using a marshal of a medina, of a country, that where everybody in that country, everybody in the country, they're completely obedient to the king. They listen to the king. So the kuzri, so the king asks, I don't understand, I asked you about a chasid. I asked you about a righteous person, and you're answering me with a king. So the so the so Yudah Levi explains the Chavra explains that the definition of a Chassid is a person who is a Melech al Evarov, is a king over his body, that he uses his mind and his heart to control every limb and every organ of his body. That's the definition of a chosid. A chosid is malchus. And malchus means that am yisrael is a mamleches kayanim. Amleches kayanim means kahanim v'sarim. Means that by Matan Torah, the Rabbi Yishlam made every single Jew a melech to use his mind to control, to control his yetzar, to control his evar to be moilech, to have a malchus over his body. That's the meaning of mamleches kahanim. Mamleches kahanim. 
Kahan and Vesar, like the Kuzri says, that's what a chassid is. A chassid means a melech. A melech is one who's in charge. And every Jew, by my, by my man Hasinai, was made into a melech. And a melech doesn't mean that he has control over other people. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. A melech means that, he's, he, he, that if he wants, he can be in control of himself. That's what it means. That's the simple pshat in Mamlechus Kahan of Goy Kodesh. That's the Kuzvi says. That's, that's Malchus. Maybe somebody has a paper that's leaking. You have a, a napkin or something. Sorry, Scott. And that's what the Baruch Shalom said. The Baruch Shalom said, before, before, Anoich Hashem Lekecha. And Hashem Baruch said, Vatim Tilum, Manachs Kaham, Goy Kodesh, I want you to know what's going to happen to you now. I'm giving you. Thanks. Huh? Oh, it's good. It's good. I'm giving you. I'm giving you the ability through the Torah that you're going to get. I'm giving you the ability not to rule over the entire world. The Rambam says, "I'll take care of that." I'm giving you the ability to rule over yourself. To be in control of yourself. That's what it means to be a to, That's the Malchus. That's what the Kuzvi says. A chassid is a melech. And that's what the Torah does. Mamlech is kahana. And the Ben Shalom says in the parasha that, this is what you should tell Bnei Yisrael. And Rashi says, and everybody's asking, what does Rashi have to say? Eilad is going to hear to take away. What does he have to say? So the Swarm say, that the Baruch Shalom is saying that you should know that this applies to every single Jew. Don't think that there's a Jew that he's a Pachas, another Jew that he's a Yaisa. Every Jew has this Malchus to be a Chassid, to rule over his, his Taivas, to be in control of himself. That's the Hakdama to Maimon HaSinai. Beis. Now here Rabbi Nelson touches on upon a theme that's very common in the Svar Makadosh. He talks about another psula, a, 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 a distorted understanding of humility. What is humility? Ois beis, ki ein zederach, ki ein zederach ha'anava. The mistake that people make with another is that they use this they use this meter of another or they misuse this meter of another as a way of thinking or, and a way of saying I, 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 I don't have that I can't do that Another that disarms and disables. It's a mistake. That's not what it means to be humble. Moshe Rabbeinu is the most humble person in the world. And, and, you, and you, we could see when it was by the Chet Egel, what, he's, what he was going with Hashem is Baruch he, he, It's like he took, off his, he took off his coat and he's fighting with Hashem. And if he held himself to be nothing and worthless, where did Moshe Rabbeinu? He's an unavailable. I mean, call yourself Asher al Pnei Adam. Has Moshe Rabbeinu said such a thing? If you punish them, you could erase me from your book. It doesn't sound like another, but that's that's because we don't understand another properly. That's what Rabbeinu says. It's not the of another to minimize one's. And for a person to think, oh, I don't have, my neshama is not from a high place. I don't have a, a, a neshama gavoa. I'm not like the tzaddikim, or even like the ksherim. I'm not, I'm not the tzaddikim or the elachid, and I don't have a high neshama. This anova is, is taking him to such a place where he convinces himself that he can't possibly be an ish kosher at 
כי ענובה כזו אסור. This type of ענובה is forbidden. והיא ענובה פסולה, ואין זה ענובה כלל. It's possible, and it's not ענובה at all. רק מויכן דה קטנס. It's not ענובה, it's מויכן דה קטנס. It's a shrinking of the mind. שצריכים לסרח עם איזה מועד. From which we have to be very far, this way of thinking. Just the opposite. Every single person must say within his mind, that he has a very, very great and exalted neshama. Because the neshama shall because the neshama of even the lowest Jew, he is very, very high. Even the neshama of Pachas Shabbat Chus and Bisrael. With Sarach Leimer B'Daita She'ein No Loi Liyas Korach Acha Taivis Chas V'Shol, and that for a person like myself, who's an Ish Neshama, who has Nishmas Yisrael, who has a Chelik Elokim Yimal, who's bad some Gavoa Maod Maod, it's not fitting and it's not proper that a person like myself, like myself, should run after such disgusting and low things. That I'm I'm from Amalechus Kahanim VeGakodesh. Kahana Vesorim, Chasidim, An Sheikhail, and that I should be taken in by such disgusting things. We call Shaken, we call Shaken. Lavre is a very chasasol. Call Shaken, when a person don't, doesn't only think with a moich in the katnas, but it actually, as a result of his moich in the katnas, he actually, he actually does all kinds of averes. It says in Pasuk, Vayigba Libo Bedarche Hashem. Then Vayigba Libo, just the opposite, that a person's heart must become great, must be exalted. He must see himself as being as being a great person. Vayigba Libo Bedarche Hashem. Shetshuichen lahagbiya Libo Bedarche Hashem. Ki kol echad mi Yisrael, rochag b'shar shom ma'oid ma'oid ma'avere chas v'shom. Every single Jew is very, very far from any Aveir Chasosom. Not like Jews who are trying to say that because they see that they're having a hard time, that they come to the conclusion that my Shirish is that, that, that these, are, these Aveiras are coming t- from my Shirish. That's not possible. It's not possible. There's no Aveira that comes from the Sherish of a Jew. It's not possible. It's very hard. It's a tremendous Mulchama. But the Sherish of a Jew is very far. Ki kol echem yisrael rochig b'sherish o ma'oid ma'oid ma'aveira chasosom k'me shekosu rabbin yisrael rochig ma'ayma k'me rochig m'yinayagim he kol echad mi Yisrael hu bal koyach gadol lamad keneged kol ha'olam im tavosay. Every Jew, not just a tzaddik, every Jew is a bal koyach gadol. Has tremendous koyach. Lamad keneged kol ha'olam to stand up to the entire world, even the whole world, even though the whole world is nichshel in something, and the whole world is doing something that's wrong. A Jew is a bal koyach gadol lamad keneged kol ha'olam im tavosay. With all the tithes of the world. The Ikah of all of our diving and all of our learning is to come to understand the Kayach that we have. To understand what does it mean to have Nishmas Yisrael? What does it mean to have a Chelek Elokomimal within oneself? I remember I once read there was a there was a, a very, very inspiring, um, I'll call it an interview, many years ago, there was an article about, about, um, there was a, there was a, a, a breast lover who was, who went, when it became possible to travel more in Russia, so he went to find where there were Jews in villages. 
And this this chassid from so he was dragging around all these tiny, tiny little avoyska vayfendike, you know, forsaken little shtetlach, and he would try to find if there's a Jew in this place, a Jew in that place. And to, whatever, to talk to them, mechazik them, to... So, he said that he came to a certain place, and it was mamish, like on a mountain, there was this tiny village, and he came... And he came to this place, and he asked the he asked the there were some old guy, and he asked them, "Do you have any you know any Jews over here?" So once said, "No, the, since the war they they all were killed. There's nobody here. And there's nothing here. They were kicked out, and then they 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 never came back. You know, but there was an old person there that said, "What are you talking about? There is one Jew. There is a Jew." And he told him, hey, you have to walk like a couple of miles through this, through this, and over here, and over there, across this lake, and through this, whatever. This breast of her went looking for this Jew. And he said that he comes to this place. You know, that, that, that since other Mauritian, nobody ever made, you know, a brach in this place, in this there. He comes to this place, and, and, and there is this little, like, a, a hut or a house, whatever you want to call it, and a little garden around it. And he knocks on the door. And he said, a chassidish yid opens the door, not just a Jew. A yid with a, with a beard and paste opens the door. And they look at each other, and they, and they fall on each other, they start crying and holding each other. So the man says to the breast of it to come inside. And he says, that he sees there that he has, he has a mezuzah, and he has candles, whatever, a Jewish house, a few svarim, a siddur or something. And on the breast of it asks him, what are, you, what are you doing over here? So the fellow tells him, he was an old person, he said that I'm a Triska Chassid, a Triska Chassid, and I was hiding, I, I was hiding by the, by the World War II, I was hiding, and he had a, a wife and a child that died, and and he buried them somewhere, and and he was able to hide, and and until the war was over. And then after the war was over, the people from the village told him that that Hitler killed all the Jews in the world. They made like a chayzik of him. He said he, he didn't have any. He never went to the city, he didn't have a radio, didn't have any newspapers. And they told him that they told him that Hitler went past Europe. In Europe he killed all the Jews. And he went everywhere in the world, including Israel, and the Nazis killed all the Jews of the world. So, so he said that I didn't know there were any Jews, I and I that's why I saw you. I, I didn't know there were any Jews in the world. I thought there were no Jews in the world. So the rest of us said can I know how there, there are millions of Jews in the world? It's a lie, what they told you is a lie. There are millions of Jews in the world. And, and uh, in America and in Israel and even in, still in Europe, there, there, there are millions of Jews. So the man said, I, 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 I didn't know. I had no way of knowing that. And then he said, so then the rest of them so like, what do, you, what do you do all the time? How do you how do you survive you know without uh, you know Shom Shabbos Bakery and uh, without uh, super sal and uh, pomegranate and reserve cut like what do you do <laughs> how, how, how do you manage like that so uh, the seed said I thought I was the I thought I was the only Jew in the world I don't know why I don't know why the Baruch Shalom would do such a thing and why he would leave me behind when every other Jew in the world was killed. So I say, I say every day, Harkli Yisrael, as he said. I say Harkli Yisrael. I have a certain, I, I daven, and I keep Shabbos, and I have a certain uh, amount, I learn Mishnayis, and Ein Yaakov, a little bit. And uh, I say, Kippur uh, Tilim. And I, I don't know, that for, I figured that for some reason, I, I have to carry the whole Yiddish guide for the whole world. Everybody was killed, so I try to do, you know, what I'm, 
I'm supposed to do every day. That's all I do. Shnayis and chayk and whatever. Try to be just a good Jew. It says Bresler wrote. This was written up in. Uh, was, there was a magazine. It's no longer. It was. I forgot what the name of it was. It was a long time ago. He he didn't let him. He had a camera. The Bresler. The fellow that didn't want him to take. He took around his place, but he didn't want to be on a picture. He didn't let him take a picture. And he said that he. I don't know. I don't know if there's any follow up that he. He wanted to bring him to Yerushalayim to. To, to come to your shrine to see everybody. I don't know what happened with them after that. But I, I couldn't stop thinking about this. This this is like this Triska Chassid in this in this shack somewhere, and he's he figures that the whole world, the whole world, uh, 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 the world is under the control of Nazis, oh. and every Jew in the world was killed, and and he's got to he's got to take care of Yiddishkeit. It's mamish bishvili nevayla, bishvili nevayla. So, Rabbi Nelson says over here, ki kol achar mi Yisrael hu bal koya god lamad keneged kol ha'olam tavasayim. That the truth is that every individual Jew is a bal koya god lamad keneged kol ha'olam to be able to stand up to the entire world im tavasayim. Well, all the tavas of the world. Whatever the latest type is, whatever the latest type is, can I call oil im tavi sayin? Raki ikka she is kalei demi koychay. So this this triska chos was a bal koych gadol maod that he wasn't misyish. He didn't kill himself or whatever. He's a bal koych gadol. He wasn't misyish. Nimsa shebemis kol echad mi yisrael who bal koych gadol. Bakshalav kol echa zoyche leidemi koychay. That's Rachmanis. That's Rabbi Nachman talks about in Tinyon Ezayim. Kimirachim emanagim. That's Rachmanis. Lav kol echa zoyche leidemi koychay. The tzaddik has Rachmanis because he knows that a Jew can't bear his affairs, and he knows that, it, and he knows, you know, it's the worst thing for the Jew. He knows that you see a person, he's angry, he's always upset. He's really upset about his avayers. That's why he's really upset. Because a Jew can't be soivel, the, the burden of his avayers. But the tzaddik knows, and that's what's so frustrating, the tzaddik knows that this Jew has the ability to overcome his avayers. We're living in a time when, if a, when a, if a tzaddik gets up and says that there are certain avayers that people can overcome, they'll, they'll, they'll lock him up. They'll make him into the biggest rush. This is not possible. I was born this way. I was born to do this avayr. And something happened along the way to this person, and it became so ingrained in him, and at this point in his life, he feels it's not shy to fight against. It's not, it's not possible. This is who I am. And he identifies himself with a certain avayr. You have even on a simple level, a doctor says to a person, listen, you keep on eating this way, you're going to die. You're going to get a heart attack, you're going to die. You're 40 years old, you're going to die. Your, your father died from a heart attack, your grandfather died from a heart attack, they were overweight, and they had this problem, they had blood pressure, and you're going to die. And the guy, and the guy feels, oh, God, I, there's a guy that I know, who's the sweetest guy, and his family, mom, she's, he had a brother that died, a mother that died, a father, was Baruch Hashem, alive. And there's a history in the family of, of obesity and this problem of the blood pressure and heart attacks and so on. And, and, and there was a time that he got a lot of chizik and all the chevra was machazikim, it was machazikim. And, and, and he came down a bit for, for a short time and then he let go of himself again. Even Now of course this goes against everything that society says. Society says that's that's terrible to say such a thing because that, I mean, that there are people that they can't overcome their tithes. But 
No, the problem is that lav kol echad zoichel leide mikoich. Not every person is zoichel to know the koch that he has. Well, the fina filas kol echad lebechin is moichin the katnas, and to the degree that a person falls into moichin the katnas, hayin the mashen yadei mikoich, which means he doesn't know his koch. Kamal chayin noifel atayvus. That's it. He falls into atayvus. The Iker, the main thing that a person falls into, is Taivus Niv. It's that Taiv of Niv, of Znus. She Iker Yetzar. But call my Shodom Oiva a very Yosef Hasso Shalom. Call my Shodom Oiva a very Yosef Hasso Shalom. Now, this person, because he, he doesn't believe in the strength that he has, so he has disqualified himself as being a Baal Korach Godel. So now what's happening to him is that Yoinika Sitrach and Yoisa, the Sitrach of the other side, the side of Tumma, is drawing from this person. This person has given up. And as a result of that, he's now ensnared by the Sitrach. And the Sitrach is Obeleya Oso, Yoisach Malasan. And the Sitrach swallows this person up more and more. He's getting swallowed by the Yetzirah. He's being consumed by this Taiva. And sometimes the Sitrach swallows a person up so much till it reaches that point. To the essence of that Kedusha of a Jew. And then the Sitrach strengthens itself and is Mizgaberis to swallow up even this Nakuda of the Etzema Yahadis of a person. To bring this person to the most terrible Aveira. In order to swallow him up completely. But then something happens. I will take if she writes live low as that's impenemius kedusha. Also, the moment that it comes to that point, which is et simpenemius, the et simapenemius, as I say, and the kuda emerges like sitrach and beis abli yeshala. Then that nakuda of what the nakuda of the et sim of a Jew, et sim also means a bone, and it stands like a like a bone in the throat of the sitrach and beis abli yeshala. You're telling me not to be a Jew. It's not, we're not talking here about, about looking at something on the internet. We're not talking about, it, about eating something that's not kosher. We're not talking about doing something with a girl. You're telling me, you're telling me to not to be a Jew. In other words, you're, you're now trying to swallow up the etzim of who I am. And we see, and this is what the Tani talks about in Yudches and Yudtes, that at this point already, the person, like a lion, he, be, he, he begins to feel that energy. The Balkar Gadol Ma'od, by this Nakud of the Pneumius, even here. Hagam Lich Baishas Amalka. That's what you're going to, you're, you're going to, even, even this Nakud of, of Malchus, of the Nakud of Pneumius that's inside of me. V'ev Shal Asit Rachel of Loa Sag B'Shum Eifin. And then the Sitrach can't go, can't continue to swallow. And not only can it not swallow, this Nakuda Toiva, the Etzim of the Jew, sticks itself into the throat of the Sitrach. And it causes the Sitrach to throw up, to regurgitate all of the Kedusha that it took from this Jew. And now all of a sudden, this Jew who was in the lowest place, that he was coming to Atat to give up his Yiddishkeit, all of a sudden he turns everything around, like, like, like we see these stories in the Gemara and, and in history, and he turns himself completely around. And that's why we see that there are people that are misoyed to do tshuva if they've done terrible averes, kama averes. Hanukkah now. 
because they came to that point where they were, various, were getting closer and closer to the Nekuda, to the Etzim and Nekuda of his Yahadis of being a Jew, to the getting closer and closer. And then something inside said, Adkan must speak. And then sticks a bone in the throat of the Sitra Achim. And then the Sitra Achim starts to cough and starts to vomit. And then all kinds of Midas and Madragas and Kedusha that was taken from this Jew that the Jew gave up, all of a sudden it comes out into the world, into his life. The biggest tshuva, I know, like like in the Gemara Nevada Zara with with Rabbi Lazar ben Dudaya, when he was about to do with that woman, Amaisa. His heart, he begins to cry. He writes live low so till he wants to swallow him up a gamer. At that moment, and in that nakuda is about even though he didn't know it. He had to be brought to this lowest place, and in this lowest place, he came to this to the edge of the mountain. And the Sitra is going to throw him off, and he says, Oh no. Oh no, here I'm not going. I can't go. Because if I go past this place, I'm not a Jew. I can't go. And then all of a sudden, he turns around, and he gives a shry, a scream, and then he realizes, and he sees, like, like, like in a comic, he sees like muscles and things growing on him. And he, and he, and he gives to the Sitra, a, a, a clop to the Sitra, takes the Sitra, and throws him off the mountain. That's the vote of Yom Kippur. Mamish. Throws the Sitra off the mountain. Until now, he didn't have the koiches to go against any any taiva, any eight sahara, and he lost everything. He, he lost, and now he becomes about. He realized that he's a bal kargodl. But as I hear, medus la sitrach beis abliyishlo, by the zeloy daish and abulas is nekudah kedoshes. Not only is the sitrach unsuccessful in swallowing him up as a Jew, avgam he muchrachas lo haki. He forces the sitrach to vomit. Ulo hoitzial de zekol la kedoshes shabolu bepchines chayel bolu v'yikiyan. And he forces the Sitrach to regurgitate, to throw up all the Kedusha that he lost in his life. And now in a moment, he becomes like Rabbi Lozab the Dai, and he's Kaina Eloma Bisha'achas. Mamish Bisha'achas, he becomes a Tzadik. Till they called him Rebbe Lozab the Dai. In a moment, he becomes a Tzadik. That's the Avaida. That's the Avaida of the Balkayak. When, when a person realizes, when they take him to a place where he says, I can't. And, and he says, I have, to, I have to gather my strength. I can't let this happen to me. I'm going to lose everything. And then, all, and then he, when he comes to that, and he begins to believe that he could do this and he could overcome it, then all of a sudden, he realizes that he's a Balkar God. He never knew that. His whole life he gives in to every Yetzar, I can't, I can't, I can't. Now all of a sudden he becomes a, a, a Balkar God. He grabs this Yitzhak, I rise, off the mountain, and all of the Kedusha comes out, and this Yid becomes a powerful Jew, a strong Jew, a Balchuva, to be continued. We have a minion? We're done.